Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over question number one of our 2016 AP Calculus Multiple Choice Guide. Our focus will be on the chain rule. Alright, so the question is as follows. If f of x equals quantity 10x to the fourth plus 7 raised to the eighth power, then f prime of x equals... Alright, before we get started, just a side point. Um, if you would like to gain access to the entire test with all the questions in it, um, this is number one of that bigger test. You just look in the description below and you find the link to take you to um, the self-grading test. All right. Okay, so, so to get us started, in this problem, what you notice is that we're dealing with the composition of two functions. We have a quartic binomial being inputted into an eighth degree monomial. All right. Anytime you're finding the derivative of a composite function, which we have here, a function inside a function, you're going to make use of, of the formula known as the chain rule formula. Okay. So let's go ahead and write that down. The chain rule formula, which is meant for differentiating composite functions. Uh, the chain rule formula is as follows. If you have a composite function, let's say just two functions composed with each other, as is the case here, the chain rule um, is as follows. You find the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. Okay? So one thing you want to avoid, you want to keep in mind, is when you want to um, apply the chain rule procedure, you want to decompose the functions first um, before differentiating. Okay, one common mistake that many students make is they say, you know what, since I'm differentiating um, a composite function, f of g of x prime, they'll simply reason, oh, I could just simply differentiate the outer and just differentiate the inner. Okay, so this is completely wrong. When you're Using the chain rule, you have to differentiate the outer evaluated at the inner times the derivative of the inner. So to help us avoid making that mistake, let's use the following procedure to find the derivative of this composite function. So we have 10x to the fourth plus 7 raised to the eighth power. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to decompose this function into the outer and inner function. Okay, so the outer function is your eighth degree monomial. Uh, let's call it f of x. Okay, so f of x, the outer function, is x to the eighth power. Now, the inner function is what you are evaluating the outer function at. The inner function is, let's call it g of x. Okay, so g of x is 10x to the fourth plus 7. Now that we've decomposed the outer, we've decomposed the composite function into the outer and the inner. We're now going to proceed to differentiate them independently. Okay, so the derivative of the outer function f prime of x, we're going to apply the power rule here. We apply the power rule here, you power down the power 8x and then mark down the power by 1 to the 7th power. Okay, and then g of, we'll differentiate the inner function g prime of x uh, derivative of 10x to the 4th, power down 4, 4 times 10 is 40, x to the 4 minus 1, which is 3, and then the derivative of a constant, like pi, e, or, or 7, is 0, so that's gone. Alright, so we've differentiated the outer and the inner function. Now, following the chain rule procedure, what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate the derivative of the outer function at the inner function, okay? So what does that mean? We're going to take the inner function and input it into the outer function. The x, whatever you have x's there, you input the inner function. Okay. And then we're going to multiply what we get by the derivative of the inner function. So what does that look like? Let's go ahead and put it all together. So following um, the chain rule, f prime of x is going to be 8x to the 7th power 
not 8x to the 7th power. So instead of putting x to the 7th power, we're going to take the x out and we're going to replace it with the inner function. Okay? So we're going to have, let me color code it for you so that it's you can clearly see what's going on here. So the outer function was 8x to the 7. So we're going to have 8. So I'm going to take out the x. All right? to the seventh power. So this is the derivative of the outer function. Think about it as f prime of u. u is the inner function. So I'm going to plug in the inner function, the original inner function, not the differentiated inner function. Okay, so plug g in there. So we have 10 x to the fourth plus 7. All right, so this is f prime of g of x. That's the first part of the chain rule formula. Okay, and then what do we do next? We'll proceed to multiply what we just got by the derivative of the inner function. We're going to multiply that by g prime, which is 40x to the third. All right, let's go ahead and simplify this so it's consistent with one of the options that we have here. Um, the final answer, f prime of x, just simply multiply 40 by 8 which is 320 x to the third times 10 x to the fourth plus 7 raised to the seventh power. Okay, that's the answer. We can clearly see that the answer to question number one of our 2016 practice test guide is option letter D. Okay, so number one is option D. Let us know what you think. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you found this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the upcoming AP Calc exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very important to us. If you have any questions, or comments, or special requests, you can just post it in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to respond. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for the remainder of this um, test prep review series. Um, if you want to gain access to the entire test as indicated earlier, you can look in the description or just go to this link presented here or you can scan the QR code. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.